What's happened at Fosterville over the last 10 years, everyone should be very proud of, there's no doubt about it. What we've been able to achieve underground isn't earth shattering, but what we do, we do pretty well and need to keep improving. And, and technology has to be part of that. Mine's now heading into a growth phase. Uh, we had up to nine drills running in the last 12 months, which is, I think, as good as anyone else running around in Australia at the moment. And as a result, uh, we've been able to make some discoveries, some really high grade, significant discoveries. Once you get the life, now you've got to do something with it. This mine historically has been a four and a half to five gram um, per ton mine. And at that, you know, we were just profitable and it was hard work. The grade's heading north now and our grades are significantly better, but, uh, but you still got to run the mine as though it's the medium to low grade mine that it was originally. So your productivity is in here and your efficiencies and what you're doing, you know, the, the rules still apply. And hopefully then the higher grade just reflects in, in greater revenue of a similar cost base. We put it to the guys that, you know, we can't stand still. Uh, productivity has to increase. Our haulage productivity, for example, we've seen some significant improvements over the last couple of years. It's been a really good journey so far. We had smaller tonnage capacity trucks, and for us it was about productivity. So we had to go to a larger size truck. We don't want to throw more bits of gear under mine. We want to stay at the same number or reduce the amount of trucks we need, but they've got to be high capacity then. The TA663 is genuinely a 60 plus tonne truck. We average somewhere around you know, 61 and a half to 62 tonne a load every time. So that, that's a step up for us because the trucks that they were replacing were essentially like a 45 tonne. That's a fair degree step up again in, in terms of productivity and it's, it's been good for the site. Oppo is really impressed with the, uh, with the comfort levels in the truck and the ergonomics within the truck. It's a smart truck, so we were able to get live feed in into the cloud essentially and we can log on, go to the website and I, can, I could log on now and tell you what all three trucks are doing as we speak. That was an important step for us to make sure that we're staying up with, you know, with the latest developments in technology. And the more and more automation you can build into the gear, uh, the better.